Design of Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can use the corner tool. Now I'm going to use first, just going to quickly select a very basic shape, just a square rectangle, and then just go over to the corner tool. Of course, you can use uh, obviously any other sort of shape as well. There's a whole range of different shapes available here, like cog, etc., pie slice. They all work very well with the corner tool as well. But now, key thing here for the corner tool is there's that little square there that you can actually modify. So you can just click there and then just drag down and you'll see, you can see a little, little circle as you drag that, it goes there. And at some point it will just stop. It will say, nope, that's it. You, it will just highlight that that's it. That's as far as it can go. And go the other way and just push it back there. You can also just go back there as well and it will just quickly go back to the original point. Just go back there. I can drag that out. You can drag that one out as well, and you can move that just like that. Now, you can also use the corner tool and just select all the points at the same time, and then just drag all of those so that just nicely interactively move there. Okay, obviously, can just going to go and quickly go and say select a star or something, another design there. There's a star design there. Just drag that there. And then again, go back to the corner tool, and you can see again you've got these there, and you can just drag that out. Again, great whole range of different styles just by just just changing different points. You don't have to obviously select all the points. You can obviously select one or two or three, and I've selected all of them then, and I can then just go back, and you can actually see the design. It changes it pretty radically, I think. So you can turn that into a nice sort of rounded star design. That's the whole point of the corner tool. Turns it from a sharp node into a nice corner. Once you've actually decided that's it, you can also just quickly go over here and bake corners and then again of course that's it. You can't do any more. Can't modify that anymore and it's you can just go back up there to you can see the various points and you can then just drag that like that. Now remove that. I'm just going to go back again now to the rectangle and just that there, the node, and you can drag that out. But there's also other options. You can also use radius just before you can actually modify it here. So you can actually just drag that out. Maybe not so effective, but it's, it's quite a nice little feature as well. But I personally, I think it's better just to do that. And you can see you can drag that out like that. Now, this is what I was going to say, corner type. And you can see this is obviously none, just select there, it puts it back to as before, rounded, and you can get that straight, you can see that. Concave, got that nice concave there, and you can go back over here. Now, the one weird thing is it doesn't actually remember that it's concave that you're working with, it actually just goes back to curve this corner sort of rounded design. So you can just do that, but you can quickly go back to concave and you can create a nice concave there. And also you can just go here and you can click cut out. So it just makes a nice cut out design. And you can go back to this one as well and click cut out there as well. Or click there and cut out and there, cut out. Right, that's it. A quick run through of just with those standard shapes. You can also then, of course, Bake corners and you just go back to that and then of course you can actually modify that so you can still see you can actually modify that design and go outwards you can't go off even further there and modify that and just go it will basically show you you can't go any further you can't actually you can't force it in unfortunately you can't go that way as much as you might try you can no, it will not do it. So actually just drag that out. And again, you can still change that again. And you can get create some whole range of different designs just by dragging that there or dragging it there as well. Just click back there. Okay, so that's that sort of design. Now, what you can also do, you can use also use it with type. And I'm going to go just create some quick bit of type. Now, unfortunately, you can't use it with this sort of type. You can't, there's like no sort of live effect. It'd be really nice if there was a live effect where you could actually manipulate it and it would still remain live. Well, 
as yet I haven't discovered how to do it maybe there is a feature of that and I'll find it and then I'll do a video but anyway at the moment basically you've got that what you need to do is go to a layer and convert to curves now at this point you think oh, I can I you still can't do it well unfortunately you have to go another step unfortunately you have to go to ungroup so once you've got ungroup you will now see the nodes right now you can use the good old corner tool so you can just select there and then just drag that obviously again like I said you can't force that one out you can go there and you can see you can drag that out make that curve some see some works better than others so you can just drag that again you can go select the entire so just drag over the whole lot you'll see they're all sort of selected and then you can use radius you can just see you can modify it as much as possible and then stop at that point right and just to see you can actually see the type there and also of course you can convert to curves again so that's it so very quick and easy for creating some interesting sort of curved more rounded type in a few seconds using the good old corner tool hope you found this of interest thank you very much oh before we go please subscribe to the graphic extra channel always adding new tutorials about illustrator affinity designer photo etc and also on the website www.graphicextras.com bye